Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share, or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. So welcome to Spark Help. So a piece of conjure always comes with two threaded ends, one with a coupler on as shown and one with a plastic cap on. But we need to make sure these threads are half decent. They might have been outside, might be corroded, might be damaged. So I always, as a rule of thumb, I always run my stocks and dies over them again just to clean that thread up. And just goes over like so. Then stick your finger in, see if your cut finger gets cut. If it does, give it a file. If not, give it a file anyway. And then put your coupler on. When you do couplers up, there should be no thread showing and they should be tight. You shouldn't be able to undo them with your hands. But what about when you don't have a thread, which is going to be more often? So with your stocks and dies, make sure they're around the right way. Do start them. I always start them off, first of all, and then put some cutting grease on of some description and then thread. Always going back a couple of turns backwards and forwards because otherwise the swarf builds up and it cuts through. When you're threading, make sure to do about two to three threads sticking past. That's roughly half a coupler and clean it off. And finally, put your finger in the end and give it a file. And again, do it up. And when it goes into the box, it should be as such, making sure you have decent earth continuity. We'll look at doing a 90 degree bend. So this is taking a bending machine from scratch. So I always get a scrap piece of conduit if the first time you've ever done it. Uh, mark a measurement, doesn't matter what measurement, just want to see whether it's pulling accurately or not. And making sure the stop is in the right position. So the stop should be in the, for 20 mil, ideally in the bottom one. But you put it where you like, but it should be horizontal. But it goes in the bottom one and therefore the marks on the former um, will be in the correct location. So the measured end is towards the stop, as you can see on here. So if you've got the measured end there, then the back of bend will be as shown on the back of the former. If you put it in the other way round, which is what I prefer to do, then it's on the top of the former. But to mark that, we need to mark twice the diameter, so 40 mil off the back of the former. And that then should be the back of bend mark. As you can see, there are a few marks on it already, so don't necessarily trust them, which is why I always get a scrap piece, like I say. Line those up. If it's your bending machine, you wouldn't need to worry because it's your, your mark, so you'd know. Give them a bend, make sure you look down the side, see if it's 90, and then take it out. If it's not, uh, you can either use, and I'd be careful doing this one, but ideally about a 25mm conduit goes over it and just to bend it out, make sure you put it on top of the former and check it against something that's square, so the edge of a board, door frame, that sort of thing. And then measure it to make sure it's correct. And there you can see this one has pulled correct, but if it was out by a few mil, then you adjust your mark accordingly. Once you've got it there, put a hacksaw mark on it to confirm it, or just put it up a bit, another piece of conduit as shown. Let's try that again. But this time we'll do the alternative method. And this one, if you put the measured end in that side, remember that the backer bend is the top. If you put the measured end the opposite way, you need to make sure you've got enough room to bend it down if that's what you're going to do. All of this will work on the opposite, but it's always harder to bend it up. So we don't want to make sure you don't put it on the line this time. We need the backer bend, which is on the back of the former. So you could just look down that with your eye once you get half decent it, make sure it's lined up. But to begin with, until you get there, put the square on, line it up onto back edge of the former, making sure the stop is in the right position. So in other words, it doesn't move once you put it in. Make sure you've got the bending arm over and then bend it to 90. Make again, making sure you've got room. Have a look, check, and then measure it to make sure it is what you required it to be. Remember, please like, share and subscribe. This is Sparky Help. Thank you very much.